Hey guys, today's another exciting one. We're going to be measuring and preparing the foundation for our greenhouse, which we are going to be putting along the fence line behind us. We need to measure and prepare an area of four by seven meters. The actual greenhouse is only 3 by 6 meters, but this will give us a nice border on the outside that will help with mowing in the future. Why are you cutting it? Oh, we're still one size short. Professional. We do not have any heavy duty equipment as it's just too expensive to hire, so we will be doing this all by hand. Are we crazy or what? While we dig away this week's frustrations, let me explain two of the main reasons why we have decided to get a greenhouse. For us it will act more as a shade house as we are aiming to add 30% shade cloth in the future instead of the PVC plastic cover that it comes with. Our number one reason is to give our seedlings some much needed protection in our harsh summer months. Here in the subtropics, we have some pretty extreme weather. It's hot, humid and wet. Last season, we learned all about this the hard way and lost a lot of seedlings. By growing in the shade house, we hope to extend our growing season. Lots of yummy crops like tomatoes, lettuce and cucumbers have to be grown in our cooler months. So the added shade house will hopefully allow for more of a year-round season instead. Who likes to eat salad in winter anyway? Our second reason is garden pests. We hope the added protective environment will deter the everyday garden pest as we like to grow organic produce and stay away from nasty chemicals. So as you guys know by now, we absolutely struggle when it rains with our soil. It's got poor drainage, it gets wet and boggy, and in some areas can honestly just turn into mud. So for our greenhouse, we have decided to go with a product called Cracker Dust to prepare as our floor. Imagine if we had had to wheelbarrow this to the hole. You do need to think carefully about where you position your greenhouse. You need to still make sure that you get enough sunlight but that it is protected from damaging winds and any drainage problems. We have chosen this spot along our fence line for a few reasons. The neighboring buildings and trees will help with the wind while the greenhouse will hopefully block out some of the sights and sounds coming from next door.
job trying to get that cracker dust spread out through over the base of our greenhouse but we now managed to do it so what we've got to do now is spray some water over it and just get the dust to settle and apparently the idea is that once we compact it down it should dry hard so this is just going to be a cheaper cost-effective way of putting down a floor as opposed to using concrete which is a bit more expensive and then of course also more permanent so we're gonna get going and just see how this all unfolds We didn't hire a compactor for this, so we're going to be doing this by hand. And we've got one of these, a steel tamper, and we're going to see how that goes. We are exhausted and I think this is where we'll leave you guys for today. Thanks for watching phase one of the greenhouse. I am so excited to get this bad boy built. Let us know in the comments how you use your greenhouse.